Today I'd like to continue our series on prayer and spirituality. We've been looking at different scripture passages and praying with those passages. Uh, today I'd like to uh, look at a passage from the Gospel of Matthew, uh, the third chapter. And in this passage, we see John the Baptist, uh, and we hear about his message. And so uh, I'd like us to spend some time praying with John the Baptist, who is one of the interesting figures in this uh, time that we call Advent, uh, this time of preparing for the great feast of Christmas. And so the passage from Matthew chapter 3 goes like this. John the Baptist appeared preaching in the desert of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It was of him that the prophet Isaiah had spoken when he said, A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John wore clothing made of camel's hair and had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. At that time, Jerusalem, all Judea, and the whole region around the Jordan were going out to him and were being baptized by him <coughs> in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warns you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance. And do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God can raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now, the axe lies at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I am baptizing you with water. But the one who is coming after me is mightier than I. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. A beautiful passage that gives us really the essence of who John the Baptist is and what he's all about. What's his message? For us. His message is to repent. And so we have to ask ourselves the question, what does it mean for me to repent? Are there things in my life that I have to turn away from? Do I have to be open to new possibilities? Do I have to look with new eyes at my life? Do I have to take some time to pause, to reflect, to contemplate what my life is all about? What is my purpose? What helps us to repent? Matthew tells us the message of John is prepare, to prepare a smooth way. Maybe there are some bumps in my life. Maybe there are some holes that need a, to be filled in, to be smoothed out. What is the preparation that I need to do at this point in my life? What is the key? The key, Matthew tells us, through John, is to bear good fruit in my life. Because there is somebody coming who is mightier than myself. 
John says, I can't even carry his sandals. You know, I mean, somebody carrying the sandals is not, you know, uh, really that significant, right? He's just a candle, a sandal carrier. But I, I'm not even worthy to do that, John says. Because he's coming with his winnowing fan and he's going to separate, you know, the, the chaff from the wheat, the good from the bad. It's going to be that separation process. But in our own life, do we need a winnowing fan to separate what is good, what is helpful, what causes growth in me to be a better person, a more loving, a kinder person? Those parts uh, that really would take away from that. Maybe being kind of selfish, putting myself first, thinking of an advantage that I can gain, thinking of a better status for me. Maybe that's what needs a separation. So let us join in prayer with the message of John the Baptist. O oh God, we thank you for John the Baptist. We thank you for his encouragement for us to repent, to turn away from those negative influences in our life, and to take some time to reflect and to say, what can I do to follow God more completely, to be a more loving person, a kinder person, are there people that I have not forgiven? Are there people that I am upset with? Are there things that within my own life that I am upset with? God, I need that sense of peace, that sense of patience, that sense of a loving presence that you wish to share with us. Help me to repent and prepare, to prepare my life so that I might help others, to help them grow, to help them gain a sense of God in their lives. Let me reach out to them in love as John the Baptist reached out to the people of his time with love, with concern, that they would grow closer to you. We ask you to prepare our hearts today and always with your peace, through your love, always. Amen. Thank you so much for joining in this prayer. Thank you for praying with John the Baptist.